It's been a privilege of traveling around the Commonwealth and meeting with so many of you folks. A lot of you have been doing this work and, and, and doing the volunteer work necessary to elect Bernie Sanders for a long time now, before we were even on the ground as an official campaign staff here in Massachusetts. So for those, those of you that have been doing that, thank you so much. I like to start off with these things and, and, and ask, you know, we've seen something happen throughout the country and certainly here in the Commonwealth. How many people are new to campaigns and new to politics? Can you raise your hand? Wow. Give a round of applause for all of you. It's truly amazing. And I, we were in uh, Plymouth last night where over 150 people came together to organize and to talk about how we're going to go out and talk to voters now over the next couple weeks. We were in Cambridge the other night, over 250 people coming together to organize for Bernie. Amherst the night before that, over 100 people coming together. Actually, South Hadley on a, on a Wednesday night in the middle of the winter coming together to organize for Bernie. So it's this incredible momentum that we've seen, not only here in Massachusetts, but obviously throughout the country, especially, especially, I think you guys paid attention. How about New Hampshire last night? So we looked at Massachusetts and we said, we can't have one statewide campaign. We need to run 351 local campaigns. That's our path to success. We have the volunteers, we know we have the energy, that's how we're going to win this campaign. That's how it's done. So we opened up five field offices. We opened up five field offices throughout the Commonwealth. Our headquarters in Boston. We're in Springfield. We're in Worcester. We're in Lawrence. And now in the Bend. So, so, here we are. On Saturday morning. On Saturday morning. Right here in February. I proudly declare this. Bernie Sanders office here in New Bedford. Open. A brief speakers this morning. It's going to be a brief program, but I want to use today to kind of connect. To connect volunteers with other volunteers, supporters with supporters, to have you get to know our staff here in this area, to ask questions, to figure out how you can get engaged in this campaign. Because we're moving away from traditional transactional politics that we've gotten so used to here in Massachusetts towards a transformational movement. A movement not not fueled by corporations and super PACs, but by people, families, by people that know all too well the struggle of having lifelong college debt or the grip of crippling poverty, the inequality of wages, racism in their neighborhoods, the police, seniors wondering how they're going to retire with dignity and security. But there's hope. There's hope. Not just by electing Bernie Sanders, but by joining together. By joining together and creating a revolution. Yeah. By joining together and creating a movement. Yeah. Yeah. There is hope that we can give ourselves truly a future of leader. Look, I know that over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be asking a lot of everybody. And I know it's tough. I get it. You work a full day. It's tough to come up here to a field office on a cold night to make phone calls, <clears throat> tough to head out to a phone bank, you got stuff going on with the families in the weekends, whether it's sports and other things, it's tough to get out and knock doors. I get it, I understand it. But I also know, and I come from the labor movement, so I'll call you my brothers and sisters, I also know, brothers and sisters, <laughs> that a people united can never, ever be defeated. That's right. <laughs> We know a thing or two about revolutions, don't we? Yep. <laughs> we know a thing or two about political revolutions as well. We remember a couple years back when Governor Patrick challenged us as Democrats and Independents to grow a backbone. To grow a backbone. To figure out what it is that we believe and to fight for it. That this campaign is built around a shared set of values and ideals. Values and ideals that we care about. The things that are important to us. The things that are important to us as people and as families not just as Democrats, but independents, and yes, even some Republicans. That these issues, the things that we care about, they're so important that we should fight for them. That it's not just about who's the best to fit in a broken system, it's about fixing that system. Woo! As Senator Sanders says, he's going to join with people like Elizabeth Warren to fix the rate of the Because for us, this isn't simply about winning an election, it's about creating a movement. It's about creating a movement. It's about joining together 
and fighting for those things that we care about. And when we do that, and when we do that, and we talk to each other, and we go out, and we grow this echo chamber, we can talk here all day about how great Bernie Sanders is, because we know he's where he is, and we know where we're at. But we're going to grow that. And we're going to go out, and we're going to knock doors, and we're going to make phone calls, and we're going to knock doors, and we're going to make phone calls, and we're going to knock doors, and we're going to make phone calls. <laughs> yeah. And when we're done, we're going to go out, and we're going to knock more doors, and make more phone calls. And then that way, we can shock the political universe here on March 1st in Massachusetts, and elect Bernie Sanders, yeah. the next president yeah. of the United States of America. New Bedford, South Coast, you play it up? Yeah! You ready to go? Yeah! Feeling the burn? Yeah! I know who I am. This is awesome, guys. I want to bring up somebody uh, from, from the Mass Nurses Association, and oh, you. Okay.